Welcome back. The people have spoken. They wanted some more 3v3s, so that's what they shall receive. Uh, I'm your boy Turnip, and we've got quite a doozy of a threer on everybody's favorite fort, Fort Dean. I will preface this video and say the audio got messed up during the recording, so this is a silent, this is a silent film and I will just have some background music going on, so you're not crazy. This is just uh, no, no audio in this one. But we're up against some really good, uh, really good players here. Um, I got Chip and Mobile Donut on my team versus Valerian, Phantom, and I build ODSTs. Um, so yeah, I got chosen to play the Professor Anders, and Anders is, you know, Second, second best leader in the game. Second to the, the one great uh, prophet. And I'm just gonna get some hogs up and go uh, take some crates. Hi, kitty. So hogs are very standard play in three v threes. A lot of you probably know that already. You just really need those units out on the field to help with um, map control and to stop any sort of rush um, and just really have a have a presence. So that's what I'm gonna be building, getting my gunner. Chip is going elephant. Uh, Chip Skylark is always known for his unusual, unusual strats, and I absolutely love it. I think he's a madman, and um, we're gonna see how that works out for us in this game. But um, yeah, so just getting my hogs up, and I'm going to just keep scouting around for these crates here and um, try and keep them as much health as possible. Today's hydration is is actually black, some black tea. Good source of caffeine, but uh, not a lot of not a lot of sugars, so that's why I like it. It's uh, makes me makes me feel good. But that brute's gonna run away, gonna get the ram off. My hogs are a little weaker than I'd like, and the brute is actually running up here. He sneaks right past that elephant doesn't even care and just keeps on walking and donut is pushing up on the offensive here um, profit can go either way really he can stay on defense or he can um, or he can push on to a brute a brute has a really tough time dealing with an honor guard rush but we've got some we've got some baby hogs here I'm gonna take advantage of this and just try and get some kills off uh, he does get Gunner, and um, he's a little stronger than my hogs just because my hogs are a little weaker. But I'm going to help pepper those down, and I did get that one hog, so that's going to help. Also, when you're on defense, you have the defender's advantage uh, because my hogs, my reinforcement warthog is closer, so I'm going to be able to uh, outnumber him here and just slowly take, take down a lot of these warthogs. Also, boys, we finally did it. We just hit 1K subs. Thank you all so, so much. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Last hog standing, boys. We got um, some flamers coming up and lots of honor guards out from Donut. And this chieftain is not going to be able to do too much with all this support here. Definitely important to upgrade your pads, get that eco eco building as, as fast as possible and donuts on the offensive so I'm gonna take my reinforcement hogs and just sort of funnel them across the map to start taking down this chieftain I'm really digging this new mic setup too this blue Yeti is just awesome uh, once again if you didn't know my one of my good buddies IRL buddies gifted this to me and it just it really can hear you can hear everything So the honor guards are on the offensive, do a good amount of base damage, and uh, they can they can counter most most things really early on. When I uh, when I say that, I mean like brute squads. Uh, it's good against the arbiter, the chieftain, uh, flamers if you got enough of them. So it's uh, yeah, they do okay. 
And the brute's over here. He's waiting to unlock. I'm just kind of parking these warthogs right in front to wait for that moment. And we're just slowly stripping all of these pads off of his base here. Brute's going to recall. So that was the... That was the goal to get him on the defensive. And we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Teammates aren't coming in to assist. More than likely they are teching up into something else. And they've kind of abandoned the Warthogs or uh, anything of that nature. So we're really gonna get a upper hand here on the Brute. Down to zero production. And yeah, we're just going to start aiming main. It's going to take a really long time to, to kill it. I'm not expecting to kill it, but we'll just do our best here. Um, Valerian's going to bring out some some Hornets to, uh, you know, just just help out. And then we got the, the first Scorp rolling in too. Beam's pretty effective there at taking down all of those, all of those uh, hornets, and we still have him on zero pads, so that's a really good advantage for us. But holy smokes, that's a lot of brutes. That is like an insane amount of brutes. So we're gonna really have to deal with that, also. Prophet's going to recall, of course. I'm going to bring back some of my troops. Chip is getting his elephants created over there. And uh, we're going to come back on the defense here. I'm going to give a Donut some, some resources. I really need to start getting myself teched up as well. I've got a lot of money I'm sitting on. Uh, now that that Chieftain's dead, though, it should be... Should be uh, easier to clean up these these brutes here. He still has the pad advantage over the uh, over the brute, and he really only killed. Is he gonna get this one? I can't remember if he did get it or not. Uh, but he only killed that one pad. Maybe maybe two. I didn't I didn't see. Yeah, he only got the one pad, so that's not gonna be an effective trade. I'm going to get my own tech 2 going and just try to get some uh, get some better units out on the field. I really should be starting to think about a base as well. Uh, Chip has his own expo and he's, he's sort of taking the walls over and he's m maneuvering those elephants all around. We got some, some tanks pushing in. I'm not going to be able to fight those with just hogs, so I got to get myself some of my own tanks up to uh, try and slow them down. Chip's going to be bringing over the elephant for uh, for some emotional support and uh, maybe a bullet sponge. But he does have canister shells, so that is not that's not good. That's really bad for us because he's going to be stripping those those summits down and won't be able to really build any anti tank for a while, anyways. But Donut is getting reverse stripped here. I'm going to get some gremlins up to start helping uh, helping out here, just putting some some DPS on them. Gremlins are going to be a recurring theme this game, hence the title of the video. So uh, we'll get to see a lot of them. But he decided to stop attacking Donut, and he's working his way over to my base. He's going to be targeting down my depot. Just about to get that tank out. Oh, do I get him? I do. Okay, I get the tank out, thankfully. And Chip's going to be coming into support with some more uh, 
some more elephants. Micron those gremlins back. I don't want to lose them, and I'm just going to start rebuilding my depot here. Red has tanks pushing up too, so we're in a we're in a really tough spot at the moment. We do have some cobras coming up from Chip, and I'm just going to try to hold on here for dear life. But the elephant is hanging on there. It's doing a little bit of damage to those uh, to those uh, canister shell tanks, and we're just gonna just get some more gremlins up and uh, think about our life decisions here. I'm getting stripped, and we've got a lot of canister shell on my base, but Chip's got some. He's got some Cobras coming in, so we'll start to put some damage back onto him. I like the way he spaced those Cobras out, too. It makes it so they're not easily canister shelled, and we got a good, uh, good range of fire coming down on him. It's a good combo with those gremlins, too. You can stun them in place, and then the cobras can just finish them off. I don't want those to die, so I'm going to drop the heal on them, and Chip is just bringing in... He's going to do a turret creep and just keep pushing forward those cobras to push these guys off our base. I'm down to two pads, one heavy and one non, and my reactor's getting getting toasted also. But these gremlins are just putting in some work here. We brought the elephants back over, and we're going to be able to hold on. You know, if you get enough gremlins, they can do some damage. But you just got to keep them out of range of anything that might be able to hurt them. But, yeah, like I said, Chip da Chip's got some, uh, some interesting ideas. He's got his Spartan elephants, which are surprisingly tanky and uh, backed up with the Cobra support. Donut's getting his buildings back and Red was kind of just checking out what we got going over there. Chip is on a double base here. Donut has the side expo and uh, yeah just holding on here. I'm going to be getting my pads back up. I got some hogs over there. Should have picked up those uh, those crates. I'm going to sort of split my units around here, try to try to be in position in case we get attacked. We're definitely on the back foot in this point in time. Their two UNSCs have been untouched this entire game, so that's a really good advantage for them. I'm going to get some turrets up, and I'm also going to start upgrading these pads again. I want to get back on an even playing field and get myself my Tech 2 uh, up and moving. Because with Tech 2, I can start to build some more gremlins or maybe get into some air myself if we can't get uh, if we can't get Donut to get some Banshees. That candy tank got insta-killed right there. So many Cobras coming out. And I see we got some power turret now moving in. So they are definitely still making those tanks. Setting up the, the turtle here to just give Donut some more time, get his, get his units back in action. And he does have some Banshees coming up. Really good Cobra spread there, too. Very hard to push in unless they say come through the uh, side passage. So I'm going to be pulling up my own air pad. 
in this circumstance, I, I usually do not go air, but I don't think that they have too much that'll be able to stop it. We got some Banshees coming in. They just get that shield. Very, very lucky pull there. Um, so that Elephant's Toast. We got some... We got basically everything rolling in now. That deflection plating is working well, bouncing a lot of those Banshee shots off of those Cobras. And we've just got tons of tanks pushing in. This does not look does not look good at all, but thankfully Chip's got some Cobras in the back there. It's going to make it a little harder for them to, to really push in. And I'm going to bring my other Gremlins back in to, to support. We don't really have anything except those Banshees to take those other Banshees out, so that is our weakness at this point. Also, another live stream is going to be coming up soon, so make sure you stay tuned if you want to catch some games, catch some of these hands, or just watch me get my ass kicked. Um, probably the latter will happen, but we'll still have lots of fun. We'll celebrate with that 1K subs. A very unusual game so far. It's not a, not your normal strategies for sure. I, I love those kinds of games where they're just you just use lots of units that no, aren't normally used, and you just have little weird strategies going on. I think it really, uh, really is a lot of fun. I'm, I, I like 14. I like how balanced 14 is, but I just think people play 14 way too much. Um, it, it could get boring. So we're gonna lose mobile's mobile's main, and we're gonna just have to pull back here. Uh, we lost. We died to a Mac blast. But thankfully, we do have a good amount of Banshee numbers. Chip has ceramic armor for those elephants. So that's that's insane. Ceramic armor, and I've got some hornets and also some turrets to just help with some DPS. Not the best idea, I don't think, to, to just sack those Banshees into that, but he's pulling out. We do have some vampires coming up. There's double power turret now, so that is really not good. Power turret's so strong. But if we just pick our engagements well, I, I think we may be able to, to make something happen here. Chip's got that elephant out front with the Spartan in it and ceramic armor. That thing is going to be really a beastly, uh, beastly force to reckon with taking all of those shots here. And there's so many Cobras out too, it's going to make it really difficult to deal with. I'm going to send my Hornets in to, uh, to just help with some, some base damage. Or not base damage, just some extra DPS. But just like that, that was, that was thwarted. Blue's got some tanks down there as well. And I think I just got uh, cannied from below. If you didn't know, you can just sit down there with a canister shell and you can just spam canister shell up on those buildings. It'll actually fly up there. Red's got himself an expo there, so he's he's getting a little greedy and pushing out onto our side. But I still got these uh, these gremlins. My units are really, really weak. I have not been able to get into an expo or really get any uh, sort of upgrades at all. But I did pick up Mobile's old base there, so I'm gonna be put, pushing in and just trying to trying to get myself some extra money coming in. I definitely do not wanna upgrade that reactor there. Uh, I do not wanna get on tech three at that point in time right here, just because you can see what he's doing. It's just not gonna, not gonna work out for me. But Chip's going to help me out. He's going to give me some cash. And I really should be pumping out a lot more units. So I'm back on Tech 1. I'm going to get my other tech over at that, at that uh, expo I have. And 
Try to push these banshees back. Also, time for a quick viewer shout out. Had a lot of interaction in my last video. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, starting out, we've got Enigmatistic, Emmanuel Espinosa Ramirez, Plush Dog. Welcome back, Plush Dog. Scored Formula. Big scored. Cole starts. Elijah Long. Stock Market Stories. Noble Phoenix 7. Big ups, all my fans. Appreciate you guys. And uh, I'm going to be making some more videos for sure coming out. I was thinking about expanding out on some other games too. I'm really excited for Age of Empires 4 to come out. I'm going to try to play that a lot and see see if I like that. See if I'm going to be able to maybe post some some competitive stuff from that. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm itching for a new RTS, you know. I love Halo Wars, but I really feel that I need to uh, get get some more variety out there and um, just find something else that I might like even more or something that maybe you guys might find a little more interesting. But uh, I'm definitely never going to give this game up. I'm going to still make content for it. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So back to the game, we've got some PT tanks pushing in on my expo. I did go for the advanced reactor over here, so this is an expensive base for me. I've got some hornets, and I've got my gremlin army, of course. Uh, I feel like I, I definitely could have been building a lot more units. And looking back, I was kind of thinking, what was I doing? But that base is going to die pretty fast. Um, so I'm just back to square one. I'm also pretty sure that Chip has piercing shot for his Cobras, so that's going to do a lot more damage there. And um, his elephants are just mega bullet sponges too. But Chip's going to push up onto that expo down there. He's got lots and lots of Cobras. And I'm going to try to try to hold on again. I've just been hanging on by a pube hair this entire game and it's I've been kind of carried at this point but I, I do have a lot a lot of uh, a lot of gremlins so that's gonna be useful and just slowing these guys down here That base is actually taking a lot of damage from those Cobras, but my base is getting is getting demolished by a lot of these um, a lot of these uh, power turrets. And MK Phantom actually resigned for some reason. I'm I'm not quite sure why, but maybe he saw all those Cobras flying in. He just couldn't deal with it. So we're going to be one leg up at this point. I'm going to just come back in now as a newfound spirit here and just help ship take down some of these tanks. But I've got quite a large bank here, so I really need to start helping out and getting some, some buildings back up and... Um, just making some units out on the field. I'm only at five pop. We got some vamps though, so that's gonna help out with the banshees and yeah, Chip has just Chip has just been leading the way this game for sure. Who would have thought those elephants would be would be useful? Useful as uh, like some bullet sponges. I'm gonna queue up this expo again here and just get myself online. I got Tech Three now. I'm gonna queue up focusing lens. Get myself some upgrades for these boys here. Guys, 
slapping some cheeks with these crems. I'm gonna put my uh, put my advanced reactor up in the corner there. I really don't want it to get melted by that. Um, or at least one of them melted by any sort of canister shell from down below. I am going to get up to tech 4. I'm going to just rush right into that and uh, kind of split these gremlins up again to help with the stunning. Chip. <clears throat> Chip's going to be taking a, a, th a third. I'm going to be getting chain amplifier, which chain amp is so good can stun I think the maximum is four tanks with one stun so that's super strong against power turret I'm gonna be going into air myself here to just try and get some get some hornets up they can definitely counter banshees and tanks if you have enough of them Got some vamps coming in on the other side, and here comes the counterattack. Gonna sneak in here with these power turret tanks. So we're gonna try to bring some forces over here to deal with this. Quite a bit of vamps there. That's a lot more than Donut has. And that tank was just not close enough to be in that chain app there. building up on on that base there and we're gonna be losing a lot of units I think donut lost just about all of his vampires there I'm gonna be getting myself a depot up instead I decide screw it with the air because he's got so many vampires it's it's not gonna work out oh yeah but um, so this is great we're got some uh, some power turret pushing up over there and chip has decided to push the aggression onto the other side and kind of do sort of a base race situation so i'm gonna fall back over here and get an expo going for for donut but donut decides he's he's had enough he's gonna be just sending all of our supplies or his supplies rather and i'm gonna send them right back But I've never actually seen that before. Donut was defeated, and that base is still there. That base that was under construction, that is like, that's a very crazy glitch. I, I've never seen that happen before. The timing on that must have just had to been perfect. I'm gonna get some Wolverines up on my own here, and um, just start fighting back against these, these vampires. And Chip is on the other side causing some chaos. I can't really see it, but there we go. Taking out that base there. That's a lot of a lot of cobras. So it's it's just up to Chip and I now. It's a 2v2. 2v2 again. So good on them. Attacking Donut there and getting him out. I'm gonna queue up dual launchers, and ship's base is actually getting attacked as well. So I'm gonna send some forces back over. Chip's sending the pelicans in to bring the cobras back because he definitely needs that base. He's got a lot of his tech there. Nice old elephant just chilling out. And he sent some of his he sent some of his Cobras up to his main, so he split some of his units. I'm going to send my Wolverines over to help out and bring the Gremlins in too. But the Cobras have arrived, and we've got a nice surround going. Chip does on these... Um, 
I can't, I always blank on any power turret tanks. I'm gonna send in the cryo here to help out. Just go back out of there, come back in, and start shooting down some of these guys there. But the red aggression is, is no more, so I'm sending everything back over here just to try and close this game out. We still have a few Cobras holding out here, and I've got lots of lots of wolves just putting some work in on these vamps. And look at that armada just slowly <laughs> creeping its way across the map. The elephant has arrived too for the support. Donut's base is still there even though he is defeated. Again, I, I have no idea how that even works. This base is gonna be toasted in just a few moments here. He's gonna unlock though and bring everything, all of his troops up here. But we've got the, the whole gremlin fleet as well as the Cobra Cobra Armada making their way up. We got the triple Spartan elephants putting in some work too. And that base is gonna fall. I'm gonna be making some some hornets myself because I see he has some hunters, but he does not have any vampires anymore, so just gonna do that to try and you know just take as many out as I can and I'm sending my uh, gremlins over to just scout out some of these bases here make sure that red doesn't have any more any more expos Some spirit bond hunters, though. Those things are pretty strong. Do find Red's base over here. Just got it to a station, so that's going to be chipped away at pretty quickly with these Grems. Big shout out to Chip for carrying our asses through this game, by the way. But this game is going to wrap up here pretty soon. We did hold it out. Um, quite a interesting game. I was uh, on the back foot for the most of it, but I thought it was really cool to see some of these units in action. Um, definitely appreciate you guys sticking around. If you watched the whole thing, give it a thumb up if you liked it. Or if you hated it, just thumb it right down. And uh, I've, this is your boy Turnip, and I'll, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.